What's up guys, welcome back, this is your boy Big D, and we're bringing you another showcase video, well I'm bringing you another showcase video uh, for NARP roleplay, as you can see you got the new uniform going on right now, we're in front of the new Sandy Shores fire station, you know, attached to the old station, looking good, looking good, um, so I guess... Let's start off first. Um, we're gonna move over here to to the uh, helipad that we got going on right now. So here at the helipad, we got this nice, you know, AS350, I believe, uh, helicopter bird, hel helicopter bird, uh, with the uh, helipad out here. Um, so it's our fire search and rescue. Helicopter. It still has the same heli script as uh, the trooper helicopter you see me flying and all that other good stuff. So I figured I'd want to come show you this. Since I didn't get a chance to live stream and it's been about a week since I dropped the video. So I owe it to you guys to kind of drop something else. So the first vehicle we're going to look at is actually the Tahoe. I mean, we could do the ambulances. Yeah, the ambulance is a little old. We're working on new ones, so there's the old ambulance. It has, you know, your typical uh, light setup. It has custom skins on there. So that's what the typical bullshit lighting setup looks like. You know, it's not bad. It's not a bad am ambulance or anything like that. But it's not one that I favor. So we'll... Uh, go over to the Tahoe. Tahoe is uh, uh, by XBR. Thank you, XBR. You are the man. Uh, he's got some good shit going on. I believe uh, me and Chip uh, went 50-50. We bought three Tahoes that look somewhat like this. Damn, them lights is hella bright. Let's pull it out of the station real quick. Park out front here. So, this is XBR's Tahoe. It has uh, pretty much the same similarities as uh, the police Tahoe that we have. Same lighting setup patterns with the exception of the grill lights here. There's three bars on, you know, if, you, if I turn them off, you see them right below the plate, above the plate, and then the grill. And uh, they flash red and, uh, red and white in the front. And in the back, it's uh, amber and red. Now... The fire chief is inside, so we'll go through the patterns real quick. I don't know what they do because I haven't created something for it yet. Please don't hit my... No, 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 no. Fucking traffic. I guess they don't recognize fire vehicles. I don't know. It's weird. We'll pull off to the side here. Um, extra one. I don't know what it just did. If you guys see it, let me know. Extra one doesn't do anything. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's see what extra two does. Ah, I'm not seeing what extra two does. I don't know. Doesn't look like extra two does 
anything. Extra three. Well, I didn't spawn this vehicle. I'm sure they do a lot of shit. I'm going to have to have uh, Sean do it for me since he spawned these vehicles. Oh, well, extra five yep. blacks out all the lights in the front and leaves all the lights on the side runners in the back. So that's what that does. Extra six blacks out your lights in the grill and your turn signal lights and also the lights in the light bar front and back. Leaves the corner lights on. Uh, extra seven blacks out some of the white and turns on the arrow stick in the back one, you know. Typical. Extra eight. Oh, is the takedowns, of course. Holy fuck. Why are these so damn bright? This is crazy. And extra nine turns on the blinking green command light. So that's what that does. Um, let's see. Sean, Sean has pulled out another vehicle for us here. Uh, Sean is our fire chief. Say hello, Sean, to the to the uh, to the viewers of YouTube. What's up? YouTube land. Sean is the best fire chief ever. Um, so. Oh, stop. He, he's 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 being modest right now. He's like, oh, stop, no. <laughs> but uh I believe Chip or Pat our other developer hooked up this uh little swinky nice thing here. Um it's a script, but uh the truck is by Trent uh which is uh, uh XBR's friend, so obviously it's reskinned and modeled. This is also the truck that was that comes in blues. It's supposed to be a park ranger truck. But uh, we turned them the blues to red and uh, red and whites for fire department. Although we still have to kind of fix those lights up there. They're kind of orange looking. I don't know. It's weird. It's fucking weird. But uh, yeah, why don't you, Sean? Why don't you go ahead and take it over? Show, show these guys what you what you're going to do with this script here. I'll just watch. All right. So what uh, we can do is. Script. We just uh, load this ATV right in the back of the truck. He said, "What now?" He said, "We could load ATVs in the back of the truck." What? Just like that. Oh, it didn't show up for me. Sure. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's right. Yeah, unless you do it. Yeah. Let, let me hop in and do it. I guess. Forgot about that. So, uh, apparently. Uh, I think the, the command for it is, uh, first of all, let me make sure that, I'll see if the extra was off for me. Alright, so we got the ATV in the back of the truck here. Um, and the command to unload the ATV is F unload ATV. And boom, puts the ATV on the ground. Sean, do you see that? You see the ATV down there? And then uh, to put the ATV back on the truck, uh, like Chip would say, you just kind of get close. And then you just F load ATV. And boom, it's in the back of the truck again. Yeah, see, I saw it when it, you unloaded it, but I can't see it when it's loaded. That's unfortunate. We're going to have to talk to Pat and fixing that so everybody can see it. But uh, this is one of the trucks here. Uh, so we got XBR's Tahoe, and then we have Trent's uh, F350, which is super cool. Um, there's uh, another piece of equipment I do want to show you, and I guess I'll let the fire chief hop in his truck and show you that piece of equipment. Fire chief's been loving his new uh, vehicle here, so we'll play with it any chance he gets. Sound like some broke sign. Yes, guys, you have guessed it. We have a goddamn command center. A freaking command center, damn it. This shit is beast. The fire department has gotten a command center. 
yep don't don't mind that glitchiness but that's how we're able to uh, open up the the back of the vehicle uh, it is an ELS command truck so the lights don't work but if we uh, pop into here as you can see it's a stable floor we can walk into the command center we can see crazy people doing shit in you know in the TV and uh, this chair actually can sit in it and if I sit in it I'll show you me sitting in it so you can see the screens it's while well, he's uh, kinda over there so it looks pretty good oh god traffic oh my god oh he's coming to fight you sir yeah, he is. sir stop it sir I have a gun I hope you know that get out of here anyway so this is our again command center the awning does come down uh, the door is open you can change the lighting you can drive with the lights on and the command light on this does work as it's not an ELS thing so uh, and it does have like a, I guess takedown or scene lights so it's pretty cool I love this command truck or command center trailer it's really fucking awesome uh, I guess uh, Fire Chief could bring it back into the station. I'll put this pickup truck back in the station as well. And then we'll take a trip inside the station. See, Fire, Fire Chief, he got it down packed already. He know how to work at it. <coughs> Excuse me. Still sick. Still got this throat shit going on. But uh, I got to talk to Chip about making these lights, uh, the light bar lights, a little bit more red-ish. I, I don't know why they're not red. They look fucking amber to me. It's weird. We'll put this pickup truck back in here. Just like that. Oh, okay. I'll just sneak out. Uh, we do have this uh, fire truck, fire engine. Uh, we're going to be upgrading to XPR's fire engines and stuff soon, hopefully. But uh, this fire engine is just, you know, an old school pumper. Uh, we have more. We have a rescue, a hazmat truck, and all that good stuff. But shoots water. Does the uh, basic necessities uh, for a fire company. So now we have room to put extra stuff in our uh, garage here show them our bird yeah I showed them the bird but uh, they saw me fly the uh, trooper helicopter uh, at one point so it's the same controls just different skin but uh, we're gonna take a tour of the fire station every time I come in here I gotta squeeze my fat ass through. God damn it, can't even squeeze my fat ass through here. Holy shit. And they go around. Alright, so, uh, that little red circle, I believe, is where you spawn fire app uh, apparatus. Um, and then we can go into this building here. Uh, if you take this right turn, this is where you spawn your, your changing room, your duty gear, your bunker gear, whatever. You know, little locker room area. Uh, we got this awesome kitchen. This is a sexy ass goddamn kitchen. You know, as firemen, we gotta cook food. We gotta stay fat and hungry. And and when it's time for a call, we just run out and get shit done. Uh, we got a little uh, dining room table here, so we all can sit down and eat. Uh, we got the couch, the TV. You know, gotta get that flat screen. There's our laundry area. Um, we got the Superman phone booth going on right there, you know. Um, got some soda machines and some snack machines down here. Um, so, yeah, let's take it upstairs. And we go upstairs here. Upstairs is pretty much your living quarter. Oh, I forgot about this. There's a training room for classroom trainings. Got the projector on, you know, right here, you know, the wall screen. Bunch of chairs. Uh, we got two offices here. These offices, you go in and, and the chief's in the office here. You know, you could look outside. It's it's 
it's fucking awesome. It's actually pretty amazing. I think we need to paint the walls a little. Looks a little blah in here, Chief, but, you know. Yeah, well, a little bit. Maybe we'll get the uh, Kinda boys. Kind ran out of money. Yeah, you know how it is. But uh, we got the little command center here. It's going to be the same thing on the other side. I'll show it to you anyway. I'll, hold on, let me see. Am I working this week? And, hmm. Nope, I'm off. Hey, yay, Chief. Chief loves me. Hey. So, yeah, second office here. Does pretty much the same thing as the other office. You can still look out the windows, see traffic moving down there. Um, you know, I don't know if you could sit down. I don't think you can. That would be a cool thing to just be able to sit down, but, you know. So, uh, enough with these rooms here. We're going to bang a left. And we're going to be in the sleeping quarters. As you can see, we got the uh, ironing board. So we've got to iron our uniform and whatnot. The first room here on the left is going to be one of the many sleeping quarters we have in here. It also tells you your shift schedule and all that. Fortunately, we ran out of money again. We couldn't put a TV in each sleeping quarter. That's very unfortunate. But, you know. And, well, this one has a computer, so I'm going to assume this is the uh, engineer's office that has the computer in here. So, he, he gets mad sometimes and cranky when we go in his office. And uh, this guy, uh, I think this Pete's office, he, he's like the radio guy or whatever. And he don't like people in his room, so. And then, last but not least, the uh, other office, which is our medic or field medic's office or sleeping quarters. So, yeah. We get shit done up in this bitch. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of the new Sandy Shores Fire Station. Um, had some help from the chief displaying and showing the vehicles off. Um, but, yeah, oh, there's the chief sitting down on the chair. <coughs> uh, Gotta kick back and relax. Yeah, kick back, relax, you know, do some, do some, do some work, do some hard work. Um, so Chief, what do you like about the fire station? I love it. It's a lot better than our old station. Yeah, a lot bigger. Not as small. We got those sleeping quarters upstairs, and we got the laundry room. We could wash our clothes. Hell, I might never... Especially now, we do most of our work out of the county, so it's good to have the extras. Yep. I uh, can't wait for them to do... Can't wait for us to rebuild the Polito station, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I'll bring my PlayStation over and we could uh, play some games on the TV here. Some some Pac-Man or some Mortal Kombat or some shit. Some, some football games, you know. They, I think we need to upgrade. I think we have a little bit extra money. We could get like a, a big ass 60 inch for the foot, for, you know, for football games and stuff. Have to figure out how to rearrange this, but uh, we'll make it work. But thank you, Chief. Chief Sean, appreciate you uh, helping us give no the problem. tour. Um, Anytime. So, yeah. So, guys, that's the uh, fire station, Station 2. Um, again, these are the lovely vehicles. Trent's uh, F-350. Uh, XBR's Tahoe. One of three Tahoes. Um... Okay, and our com mobile command center. All right, so guys, that that's it for this uh, episode showcase of the some of the new fire vehicles. Hope you guys enjoy, and until next time, guys. This is your boy Big D, and we're. <laughs>